Hi, I'm Julie, and this is Plants to the Rescue. Um, I I don't think I checked in last weekend. I might have checked in last weekend, but it might have been the weekend before. Anyways, I'm going to try to get a lot more regular about this. I really don't want to lose my channel and the few subscribers that I have, but even more so, I feel like I just need an online journal right now for my own mental health. So I'm going to keep making these videos and sharing them publicly, and maybe they will reach somebody that needs to hear something that I have to say um, or can relate or whatever. It's just something that I'm going to keep doing because I know that my journey isn't over. Some days it feels like it's going to be, but I know I have enough faith that my journey is not over and at some point I'm really going to take off again. I'm going to, you know, continue to lose more weight, get to my goals, get to my fitness goals, my health goals. All of those things are going to happen. I'm just a little bit in the wilderness. Technically, literally, I'm in the wilderness <laughs> right now. And um, for those that don't know, I've lost almost 190 pounds on a whole food plant-based diet. And I try to stay away as much as humanly possible from oil and sugar. I do, I do still use salt, but I follow a low sodium diet as well. Haven't been able to kick the salt shaker yet, but we do tend to use more miso and things like that and herbs and seasonings and go months later on a salt shaker. And yeah, um, we're not gluten free, but we definitely tend to favor the whole grains that don't have gluten in them as well. But we are 100% whole food plant-based, no oil, no sugar. And we sweeten our things with dates and the fruit, the whole fruit, nothing but the fruit. Um, and sometimes recipes with a little bit of maple syrup. Which brings to me to one of the things that I really wanted to talk about today um, is balancing um, balancing your life and juggling things and caring for family members or feeding family members that don't necessarily eat the same way that you do. So anybody that's tuned into my channel, this, I am not uh, broadcasting this, broadcasting, I'm not broadcasting this or videotaping this from um, my home per se. Um, I am staying with my mother in a rural state in, in New, a rural place in New Hampshire. And um, I don't, I lived, I live in Massachusetts in the city. So I am, I've gone from a place of, I don't even know, I think we have like 160,000 people to out here, there's a little over a thousand. So that is freaking difficult. <laughs> Honestly, it has been such an adjustment. So many things in my life have been an adjustment. I lost my father um, last month, about a month ago. He passed suddenly. Um, he was in stage five kidney disease, but we thought we had a few more years with him. Um, and he passed suddenly, and I instantly became a caregiver to my mom. Never, you know, I, I've been a caregiver to my son who lost his leg to cancer for several years now, but I never thought that I would be a caregiver to a parent. And I have a trauma history, so it's just, it's it's not something that I ever thought was going to happen, but it has happened. And I'm happy to do it, but it does take a lot of juggling on everybody's parts. It takes a lot of compromise and a lot of working together. Um, are, are we doing well with that? Probably not great. I think there's moments that we do really well and show grace to each other. And then there's moments where it gets a little bit more difficult and challenging. But I think that we're trying. But the food thing has been interesting. It's been interesting. And keep asking. I, I do have a belief in a higher power. And I keep asking my higher power, like, what are you what are you trying to show me and teach me in even the food stuff while staying with my mom? So my mom's coming from a standard American diet. Um and that's all she's ever followed her entire life. Um, she had gastric bypass surgery a number of years ago, and she had varying success with it for a while, but mostly has returned to the way she used to eat, just smaller portions. And so our whole family has struggled with um, morbid obesity and definitely obesity forever, forever and ever and ever. There is very few of us in our family that haven't been touched by food addiction and all of that stuff. So it gets a little bit challenging. Um, my mom's been a trooper. She's super support, supportive of me being a vegan. And she's known that I've been a vegan now. I've been a vegan now for like 14 years. 
and um, that's not going away and that's not changing. So she's familiar with like fake meat and fake cheese and all of those things. But she's not as familiar. We, we, um, we didn't see each other much at all over the past several years. And since I last saw her, I had really transitioned to a whole food plant-based diet and kind of trying to explain the difference to her between a vegan and a whole food plant-based diet. I think for the most part, she understands what I'm talking about. Um, sometimes she just thinks it's vegan, and but she's getting it. She's getting that I don't have sugar and I don't have oil in my diet. Um, the part that is very difficult is my mom is super willing to eat whatever I make which is fantastic and I, I'm so happy and it makes my life a lot easier. Um, she gets meals on wheels for breakfast and lunch and she eats those and I don't have to, I, I have to, you know, microwave them for her and serve them to her, but I don't have to cook those meals for her and, you know, they're a standard American diet and, you know, the whole food plant-based vegan in me just wants to take them and chuck them in the rubbish and say, let's not get meals on wheels anymore. And even though I think it's a great charitable organization, um, it's not conducive to the way we eat or the people probably watching my channel eat. And so you probably can guess how I feel about the foods that she served um, while still appreciating what they do or what they're trying to do. Um, so I am mostly just responsible for her, her supper meals for the most part, if she likes what we're having. So that was what I, that was kind of like my, my, my guideline or my rule or my whatever, I was like, I, I'd be happy to feed you supper, but I don't really want to cook more than one meal. Like if she wanted soup or a grilled cheese sandwich or there's a couple things that I could, I could make for her that I, um, I'm an ethical vegan too. So this, this is where things get kind of tricky for me. There's a couple things that I'm, I'm willing to do to care for my mom. And then there's things that I'm not willing to do. And I, ca I can't cook meat. I can't cook meat and I can't really handle meat um, as an ethical vegan. It's it's very troublesome for me. So um, I've told her, if you want to eat what we're eating, you know, I, I will include you in our meal. And if not, I could do simple things for you. And um, for the most part, she's eaten everything that we're eating. And there are some meals she really, really likes more than others. She likes Monday night's meals. We um, usually have a tofu loaf and baked potato and carrots on Mondays. And she seems to really like that one. So that's cool. However, we have kind of run into a little bit of a dilemma. And so I'm going to share with it. I have gained a little bit of weight back. Um, one, probably due to stress and grief, you know, Um eating my feelings a little bit over here. So I know that's a piece of it. Another piece of it is not getting the physical activity that I normally got before moving in with her. So I've been here for like a month. And although I'm doing a lot more around the house, as far as caretaking and housekeeping, I'm not getting the level of exercise that I normally had gotten. I used to run every day. And if I couldn't run for weather reasons, I walked for miles and miles. I mean, my husband and I have been known to walk a 17 mile walk for fun. Um, that level of activity is not happening. I also went to the gym several times a week and lifted weights and that's not happening either. Or, and I'd use the rowing machine or ellipticals and stuff, you know, none of that is happening at this time. Um, most of my exercise now is down to like maybe doing some planks, some squats, um, running very short mileage outside when I get a chance. It's still, you know, winter here and the back roads are not that great where I live. Um, so it's primarily walking and yoga is where I'm at. And as much as I love my daily yoga practice, it does nothing to really burn calories for me. And the length of time I can do yoga, it never will. I have to do really short practices because the needs are so great in the home. So all that being said, between eating some of my stress, still no oil and no sugar, um, eating more, moving less has made me get a little fluffier. Um, I don't know how much because I still don't own a scale. I haven't weighed myself and I'm still wearing a size 6, 8. They're snug though. They are snug and I can feel it. And I can tell my rings are fitting differently. So either I'm retaining a little, you know, probably eating a little more sodium and I'm definitely eating more calories and, 
expenditure of calories is not so great right now. So, and there's another issue. And this is where I was like, if anybody's out there, I need feedback. I don't know what to do about this one. Um, so my mom really, really likes the whole food plant-based um, baked goods. And I love making them for her. I absolutely love making them for her because she really has a sweet tooth and she was consuming so much fat and sugar. Like so, I can't, I can't, just so much fat and sugar. Um, and so making her a baked good that there is no oil in and nothing like that, there have been some nuts and there have, you know, I've sweetened it with mostly dates, which she loves. She loves the ones that are sweetened with dates. But as you know, they are more caloric for me, not for her. I think, I think she's losing weight. So coming from a standard American diet into eating this way, especially if you still have a lot of weight to lose, you're going to lose weight. But when I bake these goods for mom, hubby and I are indulging in them as well. And it's really hard because they are vegan. And not only are they vegan, they are vegan, oil-free, sugar-free, whole foods. So in my mind, not only can I eat them ethically, I can eat them because they're whole foods. But at this stage of the game, I can't indulge in that near as often as I have been. And I know my mom would love it if I made, you know, a baked good every day. She would absolutely love it because that that was the way she was eating the standard American diet of of stuff like cakes and cookies and all of that stuff. It was daily. And so it's hard because the ethical vegan in me is like make her all the vegan food that exists and make her the best of it. Like with oil, with sugar. Like there's an ethical vegan in me that is screaming, show her what a vegan diet can taste like and look like. Um, and she'll never go back again. Even, especially today, she had her Meals on Wheels from this week. She had a leftover one and she ate it today and she couldn't eat the chicken because she said the skin was gagging her on it. And it it was it was very much like skin to her. And I was like, oh man. I said, you sure you don't want to watch Vegucated or something, mom? And she was like, no, I don't want to watch that. And um, I know that if I like full, full if I really like dug out the vegan recipes, the good ones, you know, the naughty ones, I I could hook her into being a vegan in a heartbeat. I really do think so at this stage. And who, who I would love that for her, you know. And then like transition her from vegan to whole food plant-based and then from whole food plant-based, so, you know, strict or whole food plant-based, oil-free and having the date and the nut stuff just on holidays once in a while, like, which is my ideal diet. For me, that's my ideal diet. That's where I land happily the most is a whole food plant-based, oil-free, sugar-free diet that tries to really limit my nut and dried fruit consumption to only holidays. And I would love to get her there. Um, and like, I've wanted to make her some of the, like some of the Chef AJ stuff and nutmeg notebook and stuff like that. I made a muffin yesterday and she was like, oh, is this oatmeal? Like, is this an oatmeal situation? <laughs> and because it, it didn't have the richness of the cashews and all of that stuff that I know makes things more palatable for people that aren't used to eating this way. And so she wasn't really keen on that. But when I've made her like black bean brownies or kidney bean brownies and they have a nut butter in them, she freaking goes gaga over them. She loves them. And I know that's because it's got the fat in it. So it's hitting those, it's got the sweetness from the dates. It's got the fat from the nuts. So her brain is still really looking for that dopamine hit because she's used to getting it all the time. So yeah, it's hard because I, you know, I've got the devil on my shoulder and the devil's like, go ahead. It's whole food plant-based. It's oil-free. It's sugar-free. You can have it, Julie. You're in grief. It's a sad season in your life. It's an overwhelming, stressful season of your life. Go ahead and have it. It'll be okay. You'll get the weight off, whatever you gain, you know, a couple months down the line. But then there's a part of me that I work so hard, you know, like I give so much credit to the food and the whole whole food plant-based movement. And when I'm in my regular life, 
it isn't so hard. So I don't want anyone watching this thinking like that's a wicked, super hard way to live. When you give yourself over to it and you surrender to it, it really isn't a hard way to live. It just is, it's on automatic and it's what you do. Um, Sean and I, before we came out here and started all this, we had really gotten to the place where, you know, our meals, they weren't breakfast, lunch, and supper even anymore. They were just, you know, we just ate when we were hungry and we ate a ton of, you know, a whole plate of Brussels sprouts sometimes was lunch there. You know, I wasn't freaking out about protein and all of those things anymore. I just was really eating intuitively a lot of green foods and a lot of beans and was super happy that way. And then in between meals or when we really wanted to snack at all, it was fruit. It was always fruit. And I really, that's, that's my ideal place where I want to be and where I like to be. Um, I am not there right now. I'm not there right now. Now I'm having more traditional meals at traditional times because it's easier in our situation. And then in between meals, I'm wanting the whole food, plant-based, more decadent with dates, sometimes with cashews, desserts with my mom. So I confess, I confess I'm there right now. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out the balance because life is not all about me and my goals to become slim and super fit. It's not all about me. And I know that, and I know that, my goodness, if I could win anybody over even to close to our side in the world, that's such a win. And especially, you know, I want to see my mom live as long and healthy as she possibly can. And I want to alleviate some of her suffering in her body. Uh, she's got chronic, horrible back pain. And I, I really want to alleviate some of that. And I know that this way of eating could do that. And so I am open to suggestions. So if you want to leave a comment below, uh, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Please leave a comment below. I am really trying to navigate the unknown right now and juggling and juggling a world that I am not familiar with and trying to balance my self-care with taking care of the people that I know I am blessed to take care of. I know that, um, this could be a really special time between me and my mom. So much healing and so much love and so much peace. And I don't, I don't want to jeopardize that. And I love that. But at the same time, I know that my self-care, my marriage, and my, my original family unit has to come first of me, my son, and my husband. And now I have a new family unit that is me, my son, my husband, and my mom. But I have two family units that I belong to within one household. And I really need to clearly define in my mind, I know that my self-care has to come first and not out of selfishness, but because I can't, I can't give what I don't have to give. And so that has to come first. And then my unit, well, I actually have three units because I have a unit that's just myself and my husband because my, my adult son that I care for is over 18. So I've got that unit of just my husband and myself that I need to really, really keep strong directly after myself. It's got to be, you know, self-care and then me and my husband really, really strongly. And then after that, the unit of myself, my husband and my son. And then after that, the unit between my mom. and But unfortunately, my mom has the most need right now. So those units, even though that would be the correct order in a perfect perfectly ordered life it can't be that way because my mom my mom needs the most right now so wish me luck in learning balance and figuring it out and hopefully keeping the majority of my over 180 pound weight loss keeping the majority of that weight off send me good thoughts please and I'll try to tune in next at next it's probably Sunday it'll probably be Sundays and let you know how I'm going much love and peace. Talk to you soon. Bye.